last week on The Season. Just my stepdad, he's the one who kind of got me into it. Um, you know, kind of like a, a good bonding, good bonding thing, and uh, he just kind of stuck with us. So, and I got addicted, so. Right. <laughs> you just had to match my par save, I see you. Okay. Mm. You know, home, home field advantage is a real thing. And, you know, it's something that um, you try to prepare for going on the road, but you really can't until you're in that situation. Knox look at me like, you want a scholarship? I'm like, for real? He like, yeah. I'm like, oh. He was like, yeah. I'm like, appreciate it. <laughs> so, like, it was just like that. Way fake. Sanders launches far sidelines. A battle for the football. Did he come down with that? Wow. Dayton Wade went up and grabbed a one-handed catch over Everett. How in the world did he catch as he throws his right hand up there? Oh, oh my gosh, what a catch. Special Olympics, Unified Egg Bowl. We got Ole Miss versus Mississippi State. It's payback time. Yes, it is. It's, it's payback time. Me, me. This is our game right here. Egg Bowl is coming to the Ajo Field. Are you ready? Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! I'm trying to catch the money. I'm We need to get Aubrey on the field. That is a must have. Um, but she likes holding her own sign, so whatever. Go team Aubrey. Go run the lap. I say it's going to be 24, 24, 14. 24 to 14. Are you serious? You just need to move the ball, ball downfield, get out of bounds, stop the clock, and get in the end zone. No! Ah! Oops. That's ball game. Good game, John. You had a good game, though. I seen you locking up. You was handling business. It don't always go our way, but it's okay. Reds feel short this time, but we got them again in about, what, a week? So next weekend, we'll go get it back for y'all. Hotty toddy. Hotty toddy. Go real. Many schools claim to be wide receiver U, but here in Oxford, the locals know there's only one. Wallace looking to the end zone for Mott Grief again. His third touchdown catch of the night. He's going deep. A.J. Brown is wide open. He makes the catch of the 40, the 30, the 20, the 10, the 5. He's in the end zone. Touchdown. Down the middle and one handed grab. Touchdown, Ole Miss. DK Metcalf. Even with the talent that's come before him, Trey Harris put his name in the record books, game one. Dart to Harris, and there is a new Ole Miss record. Touchdown number four for Trey Harris. We talked about this night before. Manifestation. Um, he, he went out and showed it. I mean, he's, he's one of the top receivers in the country for a reason. And as the spotlight grew bigger, number nine shined brighter. Harris makes a man miss! Painter, touchdown! He makes a move and he rolls into the end zone saying, I'm him. Bad man right here. That's a bad man. You better watch him. Caught at the 12-yard line by Harris again. What a catch by Trey. Hey, Harvey, Harvey. I've been said I was trash, so 
I'm not. Regardless of what his QB says, Trey's play has earned him a well-deserved vet day. Vet day, vet day, vet day, vet day. <laughs> chilling, chilling. I went to do outside air. He said, I said, oh, okay. I said, it's one of them. Real? Oh, God. I needed it. They coach one. one. Uh -huh. They don't practice on Tuesday. What? I'm coaching one. I practice on Tuesday. Hey, do not listen to this dude, bro. <laughs> what did he do? <laughs> <laughs> he can't run. Bro, his ankle's so fat, bro. Why he, why he sprained his ankle? Hey, bro. Hey, we're blocking for the behind motion. What do you mean, straighten it out? He talking about straighten it out. He got the Deion Sanders. But don't go to the combine with that, bro. Oh, oh. You got to a minus. Oh. You good. Don't hurt. You lying. That don't hurt. Full start. Bro, the only surge I could get is if I break it again. Oh, bro. <laughs> Damn, bro. <laughs> Not from no righteous city. From Lafayette, 337. And that's how you say it correctly. Lafayette. Not La not, not Lafayette. Not Lafayette. Not none of Lafayette. That's how you say that. We out. Hey. I'm like that. I'm like that. You don't talk. That means you better lock in. You don't talk. <laughs> they're gonna go back and look at the tape and they're like, we can't hear him like the mic's phone. <laughs> no, free scoring just doesn't talk. That's facts. Like that is. That, <laughs> I know, they just take me. Free scoring's mic'd up. <laughs> <laughs> All you're gonna hear is like a, a giggle and a chuckle about every five minutes. That's facts. No! Don't be sad! I'm just trying to be like you, bro. I'm trying to be like y'all. I'm trying to be like y'all. I'm just trying to get like us. <laughs> Without saying much, Caden Prescorn has made a lot of noise on the Ole Miss offense this year. And that's just how the blue collar Midwesterner prefers it. You know, he wasn't like the big hoorah guy. He kind of just put his head down and just worked, regardless of the height that he had out of Memphis of being, you know, a top five, top six tight end in the country. You know, I'm gonna step foot in here and help build a culture of, you know, just blue collar workers. I think that's a perfect way to describe him. Caden is super consistent. Uh, each and every day, you know exactly what you're gonna get from him. He's gonna be correct, alignment, assignment, his technique is always gonna be correct. Whatever the circumstances is, whatever is on the table, go get it, you know. He's got a lot of pushbacks, a lot of setbacks, and I feel like, you know, he was really given an opportunity and he showed it, you know, because he was a walk on it once and kind of just hearing that story about him, it kind of shows his drive and motivation. Life can be unpredictable, but on the other side can be our greatest blessings, like the bond between father and son. It was definitely really shocking, but, but I feel like he's been the biggest blessing for me ever since that happened. It gives you like a second gear almost when you think of, start thinking about your family and you're actually a provider now, like he's my world, so definitely gives me a little more motivation. Let's go watch my dad play football. Starting the day off strong with a high-fived Uncle Wawa, had to seat that of course, and time for bumps. Bump, 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 boom, bump, bump, high five, bump, bump, bump. Pump hums are simply a must. Here's mom dragging me down the stairs. And this week dad is a captain, so he was down there handling business, if you know what I mean. Wide open is Priestcorn. As they just lost him. 23 yards. That's what Charlie Weiss Jr. on Twitter said. Want to get him more involved in the pass game because he can make plays like that. Go, go, go. <laughs> Catch me. Free scoring for the first down. Carrying tacklers into plus territory. <laughs> yeah, he's starting to get older and realize more stuff, but it's, it's funny. I'm going to give a fist bump this year. We'll see him on the the uh, in the stands but definitely it's definitely a ritual now and here's dada getting the lucky fist bump boom an absolute slay because we made it on the jumbotron after the game we walked down to go see dada and oh there he is huh tee -hee -hee. and let me tell you when your dad plays football you get a lot of uncles and so that's where we're going we're gonna go celebrate with them in the locker room and that's about it so yeah see you next saturday this is his like third football season he's gone to 
Like when he, he was born in August, he went to every home game that season, every home game last season, some away games last season, and then this, this year, just about every game. So it's just crazy to think we've been through three seasons of football with him. I feel like this is awesome for him to be there and just grow up and just see me play football. I feel like this is awesome to see. He's kind of like me, just want to play. Always have something to do with sports. I always had to have a ball in my hand. Whether it's hitting a golf ball, throwing a football, or shooting a basketball. We love seeing him grow each and every day. It's, it's just crazy, even since he's been in Oxford, just how much he's grown. Even my buddies at football, they kind of remind me like how much he's grown. They show me pictures when they first met him. It's definitely a lot. You know, we've got, like you said, like we've got a son and now a daughter on the way and big moves and big life decisions. I don't know, I feel like we set a really good example for a lot of our friends. I know a lot of our friends kind of look up to us as like parents and I think that's pretty special that he can kind of lead in that way. We were trying to decide between this summer or next summer and like just with like his dad and then maybe him leaving, you know, maybe him going to the draft, you know, just all the different scenarios. It was just like, let's just do it. You know, we want your dad to make it. So. And he did, he, he, his dad made it to the wedding. It was really special. The Priestcorn household will add another in the spring, but the family has been growing since 86 stepped foot in Oxford. You know, that's what you want, really. You know, bringing in a new guy. I mean, he's only known me for a couple months and I'm in his wedding. I mean, Walker, he was a groomsman. So, you know, I think that's the bond that, you, that we're trying to build here. And I think that you're seeing it more and more. I think for that tight end room, he's like the, the dad of the room right there, older brother, and gets to help mentor and, and guide them because he has been, you know, playing football for a long time. He has experiences in life that, you know, those guys will have someday, but not right now. But it's awesome because, you know, you got a guy like him, and then you've got Javante Connor in the room who is not even 18 years old yet. So it's great for those young guys to see him, how he carries himself, how he leads in the room. And, and those young guys get to see it every day. Oh yeah, JC, oh yeah, JC. Just oh, some extra work, jokes. Wait for the tape to make a judgment on today. Here we go. Killers on three. One, two, three, killers! Senior day. The last home game of the year in Vaught-Hemingway. Start fast like we talked about. Execute the offense, okay? Do it at a high level, all right? Except nothing else besides our standard. If you're a champion, you're great. It doesn't matter who's out there. It matters how you play and what's in you. So let's go show it today. Team on three, one, two, three. Two. Facing off with the Warhawks of ULM, the Rebels had their sights set on ending the year undefeated at home. Hand off to Judkins, first down easily to the 50, the 45 of ULM, that'll be a first down. 10 yard pickup tackle by A.J. Watts. Second about 12 and a half. Play action for Dart, has time in the pocket. Deep out is going to be grabbed there by Prescorn. What a catch. Wade is going to stay upright until he gets inside the 32. Signal in the kicker, Caden Davis. The Rebels were poised to score in their opening drive. It's a 50 yard attempt for the transfer from Texas A&M. And he pushed it to the right. The miss by Davis was only the beginning of the Rebels' offensive woes. And now trying to run right there is Bentley, and he slips and falls, and will lose a yard. It'll be fourth down. Already the third time Ole Miss has gone for it on fourth down. Dart throws to the end zone into traffic. Wade's made some great catches, but can't get that one. And it's another turnover on downs. By every stat in the book, this Rebel offense has been a juggernaut all year. Oh, and it's dropped. Boy, Watkins had it in stride. That looked like six. But it took most of the first half to find its rhythm. <laughs> Ole Miss now will take over the 16-yard line. Dart's going to hand it to Judkins up the middle to the 20, 25. Soon as feet to the 30, to the 35, to the 36 yard line. There's a first down for Ole Miss. Second and four. Dart steps up, throws. Watkins is wide open inside the 45. First down, Rebels. Bit 
Barkley. Inside the 10, touchdown Rebels! That was more like it for Lane Kiffin and Charlie Weiss's offense on a great 10-play drive. It's been the running backs that have paced this offense. While the offense was finding its footing, the defense was in a full sprint. Tennyson said, give me a start. Let me show you something here early. No game. Back to throw. Pressure up the middle. He's hit, and he'll be sacked back at the 35-yard line as the Rebels broke through. That's an eight-yard loss. Right, flushed out, throws into traffic. Bad ball, bad decision, and it leads to Trey Washington with another interception. A crazy decision, and Ole Miss defensively able to stop the drive. Wright's going to try to run to his left. He's pulled down by Walton. The ball comes out, but right back in the hands of the quarterback. Rebs defense in the waning seconds hold ULM to a 26-yard field goal, and that is where we stand. Create your own energy, okay? Stop it right here off the bat and go down and score and flip this thing, okay? And keep playing, man. We ain't playing hard enough up front, all right? It's got to mean more. You've got to get your mindset like it's a big time SEC game like you've done here before. Play to win, let's go. Team on three, one, two, three. Team. Quinshawn Judkins going to work on the first play of the second half, getting loose into the secondary. Wrestled down at the 38-yard line. Third and 11 for Dart. He's got time this time, and he throws, and it's Prescorn with a first down catch into ULM territory. Wide open, Prescorn in the middle, makes the catch at the 30. Big catch there by Kate. 24-yard pickup and a first down. Look at Dart, Dart, real grown man. Dart, one-on-one -on -one to the end zone, touchdown! What a grab there by Trey Harris! <laughs> Dart, sideline ball, good one to Wade, good move, first down. Throw downfield, got his man caught at the 10-yard line, down to the nine here on the near sidelines is Jordan Watkins. Well, that's a pickup of 22 yards. It'll be first and goal for Ole Miss. It's going to be a fake to Judkins. Pass to Prescorn. He takes it in for the touchdown, and boy, did he deserve that one. First touchdown as an Ole Miss Rebel for Caden Prescorn. Good job, Prescorn. I'm so proud of the offensive struggles of the first half were quickly fading away, replaced by sustained drives and big chunk plays early in the third quarter. Crossing route, Wade makes the catch wide open the 40. He's hit at the far sidelines of 30. He's going to try to beat him to the end zone to the 10, to the 5. Touchdown, Ole Miss! Dayton Wade said, let me shift it to another gear. off to Smith and he stacked up the line of scrimmage again. No gain again. Third down and 10. Fake to Galloway. Wright is going to run to his left. Wright goes left and that didn't work. It wasn't right. Let's put it that way. Tackled at the 30. Loses a yard. There's the snap. Five-man rush and a crossing route is batted away by Ole Miss. I actually it's kind of a slant look into Wiley and stepping in front of it. The young freshman DB Harry Chris Graves batted away. There's a snap. Rebels bring in pressure. Garcia runs to his right. Throws downfield into the dirt. Incomplete. Trying to slide back and make the catch was Jalen Jackson. He could not do it. And Ole Miss will take over. The Rebel defense gets the stop. The dominant Rebel defenders clip the wings of the visiting Warhawks, holding them scoreless in the final two frames. 
Sanders, quick pass near side. That's going to be Lee. Lee with a catch down the side. It's 40, 35, 30, 25, 20. Still on his feet. He takes it to the house. Touchdown, Kate Lee. His second of the year. Let's go. Let's go. On senior day, it was a freshman who had capped the scoring en route to the win, marking the second undefeated home season in the Lane Kiffin era. Great time today, man. Not the way we wanted to start, but great way to finish, man. Team win. Oh, Jay Watt, best receiver in the world. <laughs> best receiver in the world. That's my boy. That's my twin. We both were 11, and we stand on business. It felt great, you know what I'm saying? We went undefeated at home. Uh, nice little win, a bang for the seniors. You know what I'm saying? My dog, Trey Washington, he got a pick. Ball, ball went up and got it, started running. Love you, Let's go, man. That man. No vision. That boy running, that boy running to the wrong player. I'm just really proud of this team. We've had a great season, and we got two more to go. So let's finish it strong. Hot and tidy. The camaraderie that we built as a unit, especially the seniors and the older guys, last time in Vought Hemingway, it, it was a good one to get the dub. You know, we didn't play as good as we should have played, but you know, hey, wins a win, man. I'm just blessed to be here, man. God is great. Um, we all safe and healthy coming out of this game, so now we on the Mississippi State. Let's go get that trophy back. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mississippi State, gotta bring the egg bowl back. Gotta bring it where it belongs. We're gonna, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it, for sure. Yeah, going to see my son after the win is awesome. And my wife, and just, it's awesome. He's, he's always messing around in here. He just grabs anything he wants to see. He's gonna try to steal my drink, though. Watch. Matt. Matt, 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 Matt. Matt, Matt, hey. <laughs> you know he wants, he just wants my drink. I knew he was. Have a hug? Have a kiss? 